Say hi. 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 How are you? Good. Good. Let's get on vacation Bible school. Let me see your shirt, Gray. Stand up. Ooh, what does it say? Hero Hotline. Hero Come Hotline. Come together to God. Yeah, so Grayson, this wow. whole, yeah, so this whole week, Grayson has been going to vacation Bible school. It's in the same church that was connected to his preschool. And they, it's just Monday through Friday for three hours in the morning. And they gave all the kids a free t-shirt. And they're supposed to wear it every day. And today is the last day, huh? But Grace, Last day of vacation Bible school. But Grayson's been having a lot of fun with it. They get a snack. They get to learn a, a Bible story each day. They get to do arts and crafts. And they sing fun songs and do dancing. And we've seen a lot of people that we recognize. His old preschool teacher is one of the group leaders. And what are the stations? What are the stations? And um, some station. of his old um, classmates are doing it. And some of the kids on his baseball team are doing it. So very comfortable. Um, obviously, Gray never has problems just like running into a room <laughs> if he doesn't know anyone. But we've known a lot of people. We keep seeing people we recognize. And Grayson has been loving Vacation Bible School. He thinks it's so fun. So we are getting ready to take Grayson to that. I'm just going to take him and drop him off. It's the last day. It's just a one-week summer camp. I used to go to Vacation Bible School as a kid because um, I went to Catholic school up until eighth grade. So I did Vacation Bible School as a kid, and then I would volunteer after I got to a certain age because I think it only goes up to like fifth or sixth. And then after that, I would just volunteer. And I have fond memories of Vacation Bible School. Let me know in the comments down below if you ever went when you were a kid. It is super fun. And it was only $35 for the whole week. And it's three hours a day. It's cheaper than preschool. <laughs> so I was like, yes, sign me up. He's been having a lot of fun with that. It's a rainy day, unfortunately. So we're not going to be able to go on a walk or anything. I am meeting up with my mom and sister and brother for lunch. Just for fun, so I am doing that. But other than that, I don't really know what much is going on this week. Avery Brin! Yeah. Hi! Hi, Avery! Ignore the uh, very <laughs> dirty wagon, but this is Avery's favorite thing to do when we go to the park. It's just to lay out, look up at the sky. Yeah. We're at the park right by our house. We're just spending a little time here. Hi, Avery. This is so fun. Yay. She is just kicking. She's getting so big, you guys. She'll be three months old next week. I can't believe it. I think a week from today. Yeah, a week from today, that's right. Oh my goodness. Time is flying. Walked in home. We look like a parade. <laughs> Porter wanted to run, so he's running ahead. Daddy's pushing Avery. Gray and I are the caboose. Avery Brin. Avery Brin. Can you say hi? <laughs> well, we are back home from the park. I didn't really vlog too much today. Grayson had a great last day at Vacation Bible School. I asked him if he had fun and he said yes. And then I said, are you so sad it's over? And he was like, no, I'm not sad. <laughs> So it was good. Um, it's a cute little just week-long camp. He had a great time. And they actually had a Kona ice truck outside at the end. And I guess some parishioner at the church paid for everybody to get free shaved ice. 
which was super nice so we got that it did start raining so we didn't stay we had to go home and then i went and met my siblings at lunch and we had lunch together and it was really fun just to catch up with some of my siblings and my mom two of my siblings didn't make it but four of us did my one brother is moving from Cincinnati to Columbus, so we were so happy that he's in town now and can come to all of our get-togethers more easily now. And then came back and we went on a walk. We've been trying to walk a lot. We've been doing a challenge of two and a half miles of walking or running a day leading up to this cruise. And I'm doing better than I have in previous challenges, but Anthony's killing it. He does like two and a half, three mile walks each day. And then he goes to the gym and runs like four miles on top of that. So he's killing it. That's where he is right now. He's at the gym. So we're just trying to get a little fitness in before this cruise because we're going to be in our bathing suits a lot and we want to look kind of good. I don't think I'm going to look very good. I still have like a pooch <laughs> from being pregnant, but I'm only what, almost three months postpartum. So I can give myself grace. I'm just going to wear a lot of like high bottoms, high waisted bottoms and one pieces. Not a big deal. And then we came back and we did dinner and then put the boys to bed. And now Avery and I are just hanging out. She doesn't really do her seven to nine party anymore. It's really just kind of like whenever she's tired, anytime after 730 ish, then I put her down to bed and she still does good. She actually has been waking up more often lately she was sleeping through the night and lately she's been up 3 30 4 4 30 and then she'll wake up again at like 6 37 so that's been kind of rough i don't know what that's all about but i mean i have to feed her and she does go right back to sleep so i can't complain too much let's see what else has been going on we've been watching the whole submarine news it's been wild let me know down below if you were following it too um, I guess the submarine imploded, and so all the people are sadly passed. So, But it was a wild ride. I didn't even know there was such a thing as paying $250,000 a ticket to go see the Titanic. Just go watch the movie. Or don't they have that museum like in Nashville that you can like pay 30 bucks for and like experience the Titanic? Just go do that. Silly billionaires have too much money. They don't know what to do with so we've been watching that and then we've been working with Avery on the bottle. So we're going on this cruise like I talked about and we can't take Avery because I guess infants can't go on cruises, which is the silliest rule I've ever heard of, but whatever. So my sister is going to keep her while we go on this cruise. But the problem is, is she doesn't like bottles. She will only take boob. I thought the biggest reason for this was the lip tie tongue tie cheek ties that she had which i think that was a big reason for it but i guess now she has like bottle resistance because anytime i try to give her a bottle she refuses to suck on it so i've been like researching like crazy how to get babies on bottles i found this really good website i'll link it below if any of you want the link to it and basically it was talking about like first you need to introduce the nipple to your baby so you just take like the top off the bottle and let the baby play with it chew on it like explore it become friends with the nipple and then you're supposed to take the nipple of the bottle and like dunk it in breast milk and then put it in the baby's mouth so that like gets the taste and the whole time you're doing this you're supposed to have like a happy face and talk in light tones so that she knows that the bottle is good and not scary and then eventually like work your way up to bottle feeding so I've been doing that a little bit of yesterday a little bit of today I got like two or three pulls just now from her sucking the bottle I was like making the sucking face the whole time so I'm hoping that that means we're getting close um the best bottle we've had which we have like six or seven right now is the purple laniso lasino i'll show you guys what it looks like those bottles those have seemed to do the best all the other ones which we haven't really had luck with um so this is the bottle lansino i have no idea how you say that but this is the favorite so far it's kind of got like a wider neck and i think she likes that because it's more like the boob so we've been trying and working on that i'm getting stressed because we have a little over a month to go and i can't leave my baby with my sister if she's not eating the bottle like that would just be horrible for my sister so i really need to get avery on a bottle so i cannot worry about that and i don't know it's stressing me out please let me know if you have any tips for me but anyway avery and i are just gonna hang out 
I gotta do her stretches. We just have a couple more days of stretches. We have to make it till Monday of doing her lip, tongue, and cheek stretches. I have to like stretch it out to make sure it doesn't grow back. So I have to do those a couple more days. Today's Friday. I have to do it till Monday. And then that'll make three weeks since the procedure was done. Feels like a whirlwind. Feels like it was just the other day that that happened, not that it was three weeks ago. Today was Anthony's last day of paternity leave. So sad about that. He goes back to work on Monday, although he has like a week of regular work and then the week after is 4th of July. So he has like work on Monday and then he gets Tuesday off and then Wednesday, Thursday, Friday has to work. So not too hard. And then of course, at the end of July, we have our cruise. So... Um, not too much more work and then he has another vacation so kind of easing back into it but I'm so sad that his paternity leave is over we've been able to do so much while he's been home and we've gone on so many walks it's so easy to go because we just go as soon as Porter wakes up from nap time at like three and we go to the park and it's just not as easy because now he's going to be working until five six o'clock and it's just not as easy to get to the park so super sad that it's come to an end he's helped me a lot with the kids of just like being at home so I can run like one or two kid out the door for whatever reason so I'm very sad he's going back to work but at least you know it's not too bad he only has to go in the office two days a week three days a week he's home so it is still kind of like he's home except he's working and I know he wants to get back to work because he likes working and I think like being home and doing I mean not doing nothing but like not doing work every day is probably getting to him so I'm sure he's ready to go back but I'm super sad it's over but so thankful to his company for letting us have six weeks because we've never gotten that before so it was really really nice and I know the boys and Avery love having him around all the time but anyway I think that's gonna be it I don't think I have too much more to say I'll see if I want to vlog this weekend I don't know Gray only has two more baseball games left um he has one tomorrow and then one on Monday and that's it so maybe I'll vlog one of those. We really don't have too much going on this weekend. Going over to my mom's house and just hanging out tomorrow. And then um, Sunday we're going to go shopping at the outlet stores. But I don't know if I'll like vlog any of that. So might get out the vlog. I might not. I don't know. But thanks so much for watching. Again, let me know down below if you have any tips and tricks about bottle refusal and getting babies on the bottle. I'm really stressing out about that, but apparently I'm not supposed to let her know that I'm stressing, so I'm trying not to stress around her, but I'm very stressed. I'm a very easily stressed out person though, so it doesn't help with my personality. But if you have any tips, please let me know down below. Make sure you like and subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye. Say bye, Avery. Say bye bye. Yeah, I'll see you guys later. Say bye bye. I'm a moving and a grooving. Bye bye.